Ow. Ow. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. I've been away for uh, about a week now. I did some house sitting, and I was not able to take my beloved computer. And so what I did was ended up uh, uh, playing a bunch of uh, iOS games on my handy-dandy iPhone 6. I just upgraded. It seemed like the right thing to do. And so I tried out a bunch of the iOS games that I have had recommended to me from friends and family and comrades of other stripes. So I thought today I would review several of the games that I played over the weekend. Because if you've played iOS games, you know that it, it, it doesn't take much to review them. So let's smoosh them all together and let's talk about them. What do you say? All right, let's do it. Now, Warhammer 40,000 Death Watch, Tyranid Invasion. For those of you who are paying attention, you know that I'm a big fan of the Games Workshop license in general. And those of you who have been paying attention also know that this particular company has basically offered up every single game that it has to any developer that just says that its hair looks pretty. Now this is a good thing, and this is a bad thing. On one hand, it means that we've got no limit of various games to enjoy that involve space marines and chaos warriors and all kinds of fun stuff. On the other hand, it means that we have no limit of space marine games and chaos warrior games, and they often suck. The fact of the matter is, is that Death Watch reminds me a hell of a lot of Warhammer Fantasy, which came out about a year before this one came out, and that's because it was developed by the same people, and it uses basically the same engine. Now, the upside of that is that any game that is going for Warhammer, it's already got the miniatures, because the game is based on that. So you have a really good opportunity to make the characters and the pieces feel like the game that we were playing before. On the other hand, just like Warhammer Fantasy, this particular game, after a couple of chapters, just gets boring. It's a bit of the same old, same old. You're playing space marines who make their way into a Tyranid nest. You've got to fight your way out, or blow up their hive, or do any number of things. And it's kind of the same thing over and over again. You get excited at first because you get all of these cool marines that you unlock slowly. And you, can, you have the option to buy packs to unlock different marines and different weapons and that kind of thing. But I honestly didn't feel pressured into doing that. You can just unlock them yourself and get really, really cool stuff. That's excellent. But the gameplay in between those moments leaves a little bit to be desired. I love the Space Marines. I love Warhammer 40k. I love the Emperor. But this one left me a little cold after a couple of hours of playing it. Marvel's Avengers Academy. I don't know what I expected out of this one. I know I didn't expect it to be good, which is good, because it wasn't. It's your standard base builders game, but it has a touch of the familiar with it, and a bit of the unfamiliar too. I wasn't sure what to expect when it came to the idea of taking these Marvel characters that we're all pretty familiar with at this point, whether you read the comic books or watch the movies, it doesn't matter at this point because now we're turning them into 16-year-olds. And it works, actually. <laughs> it, it really does. Storyline-wise, aesthetic-wise, it's cute. It, it, it's not a game that I'm going to continue playing, 
But at the same time, if you're looking for a base builder game uh, that involves characters that you care about, that you're familiar with, you could do worse than this one. So, yeah, that's pretty much all. Nico Atsume. I, um, I play this game and I, can we, can we talk about something else instead? I mean, I'm a cat person. I really am. And this is a cat person game and I played it and I don't, I don't feel very good. Can we talk about something else instead? Please? Please? And finally, from the people who brought you Clash of Clans, Clash Royale. Uh, this one took me a little off guard. It's a nice combination of uh, MOBA with some um, card development game to it. It's actually pretty impressive. I was surprised, uh, especially if you've played Clash of Clans, which, you know, any uh, gamer worth his salt has got a little bit of jade when it comes to that particular one with their heavy advertising budget and whatnot. Not, 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 not exactly the kind of game that makes you think too much about uh, how impressive they are. But this one actually is very well designed, very well made, and I had a hell of a lot of fun playing it. It's a free-to-play game, but I didn't mind giving them a few shekels just to move myself along. It was fun without being paid to win. Now, does that mean it doesn't have a shelf life? That's nonsense. Of course it does. Uh, I can already start to feel myself wearing down on it, just like any iOS game that I've ever played in the past, which is an unfortunate fact to have to deal with. But, you know what? In, 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 right now, in spring of 2016, this isn't a bad one. And I have to say, out of all the games I've played this weekend, this one, Clash Royale, is definitely the one that I enjoyed the most. So those are my favorite iOS games of this past weekend. Uh, <laughs> I believe all of them but one uh, were released this year, so they're still in line for the uh, best iOS games of the year, if I even choose to do something like that, which I probably won't. Uh, <laughs> take what you will from it iOS games still got a, a, a long ways to go. Um, but, you know what? I had a good time. I, uh, I didn't feel like I was missing out on a massive amount. And I came home and only played about uh, six hours of Stardew Valley before uh, passing out. So... Pretty good ask me. <laughs> All right. My name is Phil the Conquistador. Please like, comment, subscribe, join me in this heady game of talking about recreation and video games and computers and all kinds of glorious stuff. Join me. What does it cost you after all? Nothing. Not a damn dime. I'll see you tomorrow. We've got lots of other games coming up. We've got more reviews coming up. Who knows? I might even tear my way away from Stardew Valley enough, long enough, to talk about it in a critical manner. And until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.